the Healing Through Love podcast with Charlene Lynch and Rose Davidson. Lorene Newman discusses women's work and life stresses in episode 10. And stress is the common component. That's why people are like, how can you have this weird thing you tap on your body and it fixes a lot of, you know, it reduces the stress on a lot of things because stress is the common component or feeling unsafe or insecure or scared. Um, and a lot of that starts actually earlier in our life. We can be going along fine and suddenly we get a message from an adult or the circumstances that, oh, it's not safe to be who I am. It's not safe to want things. I better be quiet and be the good girl. Uh, I need to keep people happy or they'll leave me. And we learn that and our nervous system and our subconscious take that on into our body. Next time we're faced with that, we're like, no, this doesn't feel safe. It's actually reminding me of what happened before. And so the nerves start coming up, the anxiety. And we're like, why do I feel like this? You know, I want to have a successful business or I want to have a great relationship. I'm ready for a new one. The desire's there. The mm. fucking adult wants it. But the emotional side of us, which apparently is 95% running the show, the logical mind is 5%. It can't trump it. So we go to that. Welcome to another episode of Healing Through Love. Each week, we share ideas, experiences, and resources to increase the awareness of domestic and family violence and to empower survivors to grow and thrive. We talk with experts who share their advice or with people who have experienced abuse, no matter where they are on their journey. This is all about healing through love. And now, here are your hosts, Charlene Lynch and Rose Davidson. Hello and welcome to the Healing Through Love podcast. My name is Charlene Lynch from charlenelynch.com. Healing Through Love is a social enterprise whose vision is to shift awareness on domestic and family violence within the community and support victims and survivors. Our mission is to provide family and domestic violence survivors with a soft place to land by offering them with services available to them and their family. Bit tongue-tied this morning. We interview expert authorities who share their personal stories and offer advice for those who have experienced abuse, no matter where they are on their journey of healing. As well as the Healing Through Love podcast, we hold annual pamper days here in Adelaide, South Australia, and also in Tasmania for survivors of domestic and family violence. Local businesses come together and pay it forward by providing their services and resources for the day to give our survivors a much deserved day of indulgence. Think day spa, it's spectacular. And we've got a very special guest today and I'm very excited to introduce to you. Lorraine Newman is a woman's coach and emotional therapist. And she's gonna dive in deep to explain exactly what that means. She helps women who are struggling with stress and anxiety in their work or study and and to, to break through to a brighter future they have just more calmness and so much more confidence. She is a really passionate about helping women break the emotional freedom where they can currently live and so that they can step into their power and be more, do more, share more and have more. She is trained as an accredited advanced practitioner in EFT. So that's tapping, uh, electronic. Uh, I think I'm going to let you explain the more details. Um, and tapping and global not-for-profit EFT international. She has been tapping herself for 10 years. That's a decade. And I swear she looks younger every single year. Starting originally to reduce her own extreme work stress because uh, she came from a corporate space and release unresolved emotion. She loved the therapy so much, she became the therapist. She's got a beautiful studio here in Adelaide up in Blackwood. Without any further ado, hello, how are you? Hi, Charlene. Thank you so much for inviting me along. I really love talking to you. So it's going to be a great session today, I think. Great podcast, yes. Oh, I, I love quality time with you. We've had a little chat before today's recording started. And we chatted for a very long time. <laughs> That's indicative. I do love being in your frequency. Can you tell us a little bit about your story? What got you 
into this in the first place. Now, we know that you were employed, but what was happening for you in your workplace and how did you then transition to becoming a therapist? Yeah, so um, look, about 10 years ago, um, the stress levels at work started to go up and I was starting to feel anxious a lot of the time and too many things going around your mind and I'm sure listeners can identify with some of that. Um, and increasing demands um, and insecure, insecure contract that I was on, repeated contracts, which is unsettling. You don't know where your money's coming from. And, and then I also was in a very low speed car crash, rear ended car crash, which I think shook up my nervous system and I didn't realize. And there were other things going on in the family that I really hadn't sort of clicked to. So, you know, several of my family and friends had been really unwell or been in accidents or had cancer and all that stuff kind of piles on top of us and we don't really realize what's happening. So somewhere along the line, I came across tapping and um, I just started using it as like general stress relief for myself because, because the great thing is you can do the simple stuff yourself, as you know. Um, and then I got into it and I thought, oh, someone said you could train as a practitioner. I'm like, well, that'd be interesting. I can help more family and, you know, friends. And then as my contracts got closer and closer to the end, I thought, I wonder if I could do this for a living. So I did more of the training and got accredited. And then I just started up like one day a week and one evening a week um, as I was doing my day job. And eventually I loved it so much. That, and I was talking to you and I'm kind of like, that's just, I'm just going to jump. <laughs> And so now I, this is my life now. And um, yeah, I do this as uh, as my job. And yeah. like That is so beautiful to have an experience where you've grown and expanded and healed and then be so you know attached to that so, and understand how powerful it is that you mm-hmm. can then lean into that and become a practitioner and then leave your job and now run a very successful practice. That is, you know, that's like the Cinderella story. And for those <laughs> of our listeners listening today, this this is possible when you lean in to those frequencies, those passions, those things that make you feel good and you know that you're in a space of alignment, that this is, you know, showing you the way to move forward. I love it. I'm so proud of what you do yeah. and how you do it. And yeah. I'd love you to explain a little bit more, if you don't mind, about tapping because, you know, some people have got a vague idea and how does it work and dive in deep and explain it to us yeah absolutely so tapping is a form of sort of self-applied acupressure so we're using the chinese meridian system um and we're working with the energy of the body uh and we're we're tapping on certain points i'll take you through a a, a short sequence in a moment for a demo uh we're tapping on certain points in the body that are kind of like special windows into our nervous system so we could tap anywhere but we're using these acupressure points As we tap, it sends a system directly to our brain's fear center to dial down and it grounds us in the present. So it's a sort of bit like a combination of mindfulness and acupressure. So we're tapping and we're saying to the body, just calm down. We don't have to say to ourselves, oh, come on, Charlene, pull yourself together, calm down. We just tap and it tells the body. And so when we combine that with I'm feeling stressed about my boss, or I've, you know, I'm scared of the public speaking I've got to do tomorrow, we tap at the same time and we take down that stress level. When you experience it, you see what it actually does, but that's the basis of how it works. So it really is a mind-body therapy. Mm. And as I said, I was in a car crash. I had other sort of, you know, really traumatic stuff happening with the family that I hadn't really registered the severity of and the impact on me. We can also work on deep trauma and releasing that because we're working on the mind and the body. And that we hold everything in our bodies, even if we don't realize it. That's where our memories are. They're not off in the middle of nowhere. They're actually in us. So tapping can go at all those different levels. And it's great to work with people at whatever level they want to work at. So yeah, it's a, great so it's, it's a therapy that meets you where you are. That's um, a really good yeah. summary. And, and I love that because regardless of where you are on your journey and that a lot of our listeners are on different places of their journey, mm-hmm. that it meets you where you are and then helps you move forward. Like, Do you know how long has this uh, been around as a therapy? Like how long has EFT? Yeah, um, look, it started about 25 years ago and then um, it got picked up by someone who was actually a member of the American Psychological Association who went, we need to standardise this and get research done on it to know how it's working and to compare it with other approaches. So now there's been like about over 50 of the gold standard studies done on it. And it shows that it works faster and more effectively and is longer lasting than most other therapy approaches because it includes the body 
It's not just the mind. So in that sense, that's um, you know really encouraging. But 25 years, thousands and thousands of case studies, millions of people are doing it. And you can just do it in your own lounge room or you can do it with a practitioner. It's really versatile like that. I love it. I, I knew that it was um, more than two decades. I really did think it was closer to three, but... Uh, it but, probably is 25 but, heading on for 30 now, yeah. yeah should, I love should, it. We, should I take you through a little sequence just to show you what we're talking about? I'd love to, but before we dive in, I would love to talk about and ask you some questions about my initial resistance to uh, tapping when I, I first heard about it several decades ago. So I was all into affirmations and affirmations and speaking, you know, into the ether, positive things and leaning into that. So when I heard about this therapy that you speak the opposite, I was so resistant. Ah, it's um, really wrong. <laughs> well, I'll explain. Like going there. And it took me some years to really understand and get connected to that. So uh, look, if I'm, if I felt that way, I'm sure some of our listeners yeah. are yeah. Well, so can you talk to us about using the language that we're speaking, which is not necessarily positive, to move through a process that's going to have yeah. a outcome? It can feel a, yeah, absolutely. And that's a, not an uncommon response, Charlene. So it can feel a little bit counterintuitive. So what we're doing is tapping. We're giving voice to how you really feel. We're not trying to, you know, hide the dirt under the carpet. We're going, actually, today, and you know, today I'm feeling really stressed and I actually hate my boss. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody that, but that's what I feel. And I'm bottling it up, you know, inside. And when we tap, so we give voice to how we truly feel and we tap to release the intensity of that from our body. And you can actually, as we're tapping, you can feel that releasing. You can feel the, that, that intense negative energy shifting and it makes such space for healing energies to flow in and for your vibration to lift higher. So. Mm. That's why we do it. And it's a bit like, oh, am I going to be, yes, if you said negative stuff over and over, that's not healthy. But when you tap at the same time, you're diffusing it. And that's the, that's the key word, listeners, is the diffusing. So mm. we often, when we lean into saying these affirmations or affirmations, we are pushing against what we're really feeling on the inside. So mm. where this is different is we are being very honest, very transparent, very authentic and speaking what's really happening. And then mm -hmm. this is why we believe that EFT is meeting you where you are and then helping you move forward. And that's why yeah. it is the most, well, one of the most powerful therapies. And also because it can, you can carry it in your toolkit. doesn't matter where you are. Uh, you can just use it. So I'm still, even after all these years, still a little nervous about flying especially the longer trips and this week I'm off to Singapore and you know I'm still you can you'll see me at the airport I'll be doing the tapping <laughs> yeah yeah and the Duchess of Cambridge Prince Charles's wife does it too for flying apparently yeah so it really, really does work. Once I'm there, I'm fabulous, but I just have to take that little edge off and before that it was I would drink alcohol or mm. I, you know, so or eat a lot of food. Like I would do things that weren't so healthy. Now mm. having this in my toolkit, it look, it's mm. magical. I'd love you to give us an example because it's great to talk about it, but it's another thing to actually yeah, see yeah. it. So I was going to say, you know, it's emotional freedom technique. So when you say how you feel, you don't need to stuff food down. You don't need to turn to other things because you're actually voicing how you feel. Emotional freedom techniques, it does what it says. So yeah, I'll just get you and Charlene and, and, and the listeners to just... Take a breath and just tune in to, am I feeling stressed right now? If I am, what number would I put on that from a scale of zero? Now I'm completely at peace to 10. I'm really, really stressed. Most people have at least a one or two of some form of stress. And then you might also tune into your body am I holding that stress somewhere like is it a tight neck or my shoulders are a bit up or my jaws a bit tight my stomach's churning and again you might think yeah my shoulders are like a seven out of ten tight and we're just doing that to register where this stress is and how we're feeling it and then we're just going to take you around a, a couple of rounds of tapping. So we start on the side of the hand. We get the side thing you know, where you would do a karate chop and we're using the fingers of the other hand to just gently tap there. Don't give yourself a bruise, but you want to register it a bit. And we're just going to go, even though I feel so stressed. So you repeat after me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, even though I feel so stressed. Or even though I feel stressed. 
even though I feel stressed. This is how I feel right now. How I feel right now. Even though I feel stressed. Even though I feel stressed. This is the truth of how I feel. This is the truth of how I feel. Even though I feel quite stressed. Even though I feel quite stressed. You might say a bit stressed if it's not high. <laughs> this is how I feel right now. How I feel right now. And I'm tapping to soothe myself. And I'm tapping to soothe myself. So now we're going to give some points. So the first one's right on the top of the head. It looks a bit weird, but it's talking to your body. I feel so stressed. I feel so stressed. Now the next one, come to where the inside edge of your eyebrow meets your nose and we just got all this stress. You repeat all this stress. All this stress, all this stress. And we're going to just go round the eye socket to the outside of the eye socket on the edge there. Yeah, absolutely. Just tapping on the side of the eye socket. Oh, there's all this stress. All oh, this stress. And under your eyes, so just keep sliding around the cheekbone. What if my body could relax a bit anyway? What if my body could relax a bit anyway? And now we're going under the nose. I am feeling stressed. I am feeling stressed. On the chin. Can I give my body permission to relax a bit? Can I give my body permission to relax a bit? I can begin to relax more now. I can begin to relax more now. Under the arm. And maybe today will be better than I thought. And maybe today will be better than I thought. Oh, that stress. Oh, that stress. Starting to let it go now. Starting to let it go now. So we can do some positives with tapping, but we don't do it until the negatives come down a bit. But we'll just do a bit more. So one more round, top of the head. This stress I've been feeling. This stress I've been feeling. I'm on your inside eyebrow. Maybe I've carried it a long time. Maybe I've carried it a long time. Side of the arm. What if I could let a bit go? What if I could let a bit go? <sighs> Under the nose. I'm open to a better afternoon. I'm open to a better afternoon. On the chin. Maybe I could be more relaxed than I think. Maybe I could be more relaxed than I think. In your collarbone. I'm open to more joy. I'm open to more joy. Under the arm. I'm open to more good things. I'm open to more good things. Releasing more of that tension and stress now. Releasing more of that tension and stress now. So just have a bit of a jiggle and a breathe. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's one. And I, just, I just want to get you to tune back into when we started. I know I'm feeling stressed. And what number was that out of 10? Yeah, so it was a five, which is surprising for myself. Uh, and I think it's because I haven't packed. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, and uh, not, I'm not quite organised. And, yes, and, and now I'm like, I don't really care. <laughs> oh, okay. And, you know, you might have had tight shoulders and a churning stomach. That might have just gone down a bit too. Yeah, I feel we good. Yeah, so you can do that sort of general tapping, which is what you do at the airport. Yeah. To go into, okay, well, actually, now I'm feeling stressed because I haven't done the packing, so we'd focus on the packing. Or... Yes, we'd focus on the packing. Uh, yeah. I've got something that always seems to happen, and I say always because it just generally always does happen, is that I burp a lot. And I've just, oh. like, I'm, I'm guessing, like, can you explain a little bit about yeah. that? Yes. Yeah. So simply... when we have a lot of tension and energy sort of stuck, um, as we start to release that, our body relaxes. So, yes, some people burp. A lot of people yawn. Some people will feel tingly. Other people might feel hot and cold. They're all signs of blocked energy starting to release and your system starting to flow again. Mm. So it's good things. Some people feel quite tired when they've offloaded all that energy. And, you know, you can go around. So you obviously feel quite unsafe when you're going to the airport and you're tapping to soothe your system and go, actually, it, I'm going to be okay. My fears are genuine, but I don't need to have my nervous system going off on high alert. So we can use the tapping a lot of the time for when we're feeling stressed or anxious. It's because we actually feel unsafe with what's going on. Yes. So I've used tapping for, so I uh, stopped driving for some period of time. So I used that to be able to have enough courage to start driving again. 
Uh, I even used it to date as well because yeah. I shut down after the last uh, DV incident and, um, and like, I just didn't want to date anymore. So I used it for dating. Like, there isn't anything that I haven't used it for. I <laughs> find it fabulous. Yeah. And stress is the common component. That's why people are like, how can you have this weird thing you tap on your body and it fixes a lot of, you know, it reduces the stress on a lot of things because stress is the common component or feeling unsafe or insecure or scared. Um, and a lot of that starts actually earlier in our life. We can be going along fine and suddenly we get a message from an adult or the circumstances that, oh, it's not safe to be who I am. It's not safe to want things. I better be quiet and be the good girl. Uh, I need to keep people happy or they'll leave me. And we learn that and our nervous system and our subconscious take that on into our body. Next time we're faced with that, we're like, no, this doesn't feel safe. It's actually reminding me of what happened before. And so the nerves start coming up, the anxiety. And we're like, why do I feel like this? You know, I want to have a successful business or I want to have a great relationship. I'm ready for a new one. The desire's there. The mm. fucking adult wants it. But the emotional side of us, which apparently is 95% running the show, the logical mind is 5%. It can't trump it. So we go to that subconscious level. We go to that fear. It's, and you don't even need to know we're tapping what's driving it. We just start with, I'm feeling stressed like you did. And then you went, it's because I'm worried about packing, haven't packed. And I feel that's one of the reasons why tapping has been so successful for myself in the last couple of decades is because um, during that time I was still drinking. So I was still a chronic alcoholic. So I just didn't have the level of awareness to figure out what on earth was wrong because I wasn't sober enough for any length of time to yeah. figure out and wasn't giving myself that space or time to even work on those processes. And especially after the death of my son, that, um, you know, tapping is one of the one of the tools that I lent into really passionately and deeply to help me, to even help me get out of bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and it, like you say, it does meet you, it met you where you were. So yeah. you start tapping on, this is how I feel right now. It's always about, I feel this, I shouldn't feel that, but this is what I feel and then you just go from there. So in that sense, we can work with people wherever they're currently at. Mm. And Being really down in a, a dark place, we just start tapping. And people can tap in between sessions with a practitioner. That, like you said, you can just lay in bed and start tapping. That's exactly what I had to do to get myself out of bed too. Yeah. So um, so for, for, for shame and guilt and, and grief and loss on very low frequencies, tapping for me is a much better therapy because you're not diving into the muck of it all. You're meeting yourself where you are and you're using the language that you're, you know, exposing and you're vocalising where you are so then you can actually transition into a newer frequency. So I, I find it a really, really powerful Yes, and I will say that you are better off being guided through a practitioner. So I've, I, I've, uh, yes, I've seen it go the other way as well when they haven't used. Look, it needs to come with a level of intention, and you need to have some guidance to go through it. It's yeah, you know, people say, oh, you can just look on YouTube. Well, not yes, and you actually need someone to guide you through the process to get to the core of it, so that you can be guided through it. And once you've got that practice, yes, you know, I don't get to see a therapist every time I need help. If I did, I'd be at a therapist every no, day. and then that's the great thing that's why I love it because we can do the deep stuff with you we can help you get unstuck and start moving forward and in between sessions you can do as much or as little as you want and if you suddenly you know you're, you're out somewhere and you suddenly feel something happen just start tapping or you know we've got sort of you know ones you can do behind the scenes or just quietly down below where no one can see them yes like, uh, even we can help you through the deeper stuff and the trauma yeah, uh, I was watching, uh, we love to go to the movies um, more than we really need to. And uh, there was a scene in the movie that really just brought everything back home for me. And I could just feel it in my body. And I just went straight into tapping, even in the movie theatre. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> you just, good. yeah, that's when your system just needs to, you know, just ground down. So, yeah, so to, I think it's good to know that tapping exists as a stress relief method, that you can do it yourself at the, you know, the simple stress relief level. But we would always recommend if you've got deeper things or you're stuck or there's traumas you want to offload, you know, you don't have to live with these things. People say to me, oh, I've just resigned myself to living like this or with this or in this condition. It's just a sign that your nervous system has waiting to offload something. And sometimes the worst thing get, things get, the more it's shouting at you, please do something. I need to calm down. And tapping will help you in there on that journey to, to offloading and healing, really. And then oh, 
So now you've got a couple of programs uh, and that are on offer as well. Uh, where can people find out about these programs? Yeah, so all of my information is on my website at tappingintoserenity.com. I'm also on Facebook and LinkedIn and uh, Twitter. I've got, I've got, yeah, so I work with people in a number of ways. Um, so the programs I've got at the moment, there's three of them. Uh, and the main one that people seem to be interested in is either change my life direction to get unstuck and move in a new direction. Can I ask more about that? Yes. Like what, what, what is that? What, what is that? Are we talking about people that want to transition from one job to another or are we talking about people that are in a relationship? Like what what more does that mean? Yeah, it's it's where, where you are at the moment. You're kind of fed up with being there. You know you want to change but you don't know how or you're scared the same thing's going to happen as happened last time you bothered to change. So we start off by getting you unstuck emotionally. Again, you don't need to know. You just need to know I'm fed up with where I am. And then we start to offload that old story and open a new story and then open to a new direction. So um, all of my programs go over nine weeks, but other people might like to just have a go, have one session, see how they like it, see if it's meeting them where they're at. And then they can book more sessions if they want to, or a block of sessions. I'm quite flexible with that because I want it to work with where people are at. Mm. And it's, you know, maybe it's not the right thing for you right now, or maybe it's going to be something you do now and come back to. Yeah, so true. It is, um, for me, one of the most powerful tools in my toolbox for myself personally and also for business as well. So every time that you up level and go to that next level, you know, every time you charge a client more, every time you do a bigger project, every time you step up, every time you take on a new team member, you know, sometimes we meet that level of resistance. Yeah. And when you can yeah. bring that to the table yourself so that you can move forward, it's a great thing. Yeah. Um, so you've got a couple of offers today. Um, I understand that people can actually register just to have a, a quick chat with you a 20 minute chat just to see hey are we a good fit yes, and then, absolutely. that's right and then you've also got um a, a special offer today for our listeners that if you're interested to move forward uh, that you can have a 90 minute session for the price for the investment of a 60 minutes is that right yeah, that's right yes yeah. so just making that available to people and and look the clarity call is there's no obligation because I really only want to work with people that want to work with me uh, otherwise, like you've been saying, it's the wrong vibration match. And so, you know, we'll work that out. Um, and yeah, if people want to say, look, this is my situation. Could you help? If I'm not the right person, I'll soon tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't specialize in certain things and it's better to work in what you do specialize in. But, you know, if you want to change your life, if you want to start to feel good enough and offload these things, which have been bugging you maybe for your whole life or at least a few few years and you're just fed up of where you are, then you know, just get in touch. Let's have a chat. Mm. All of Lorraine's links are going to be here in the description uh, for both the YouTube and also the podcast. So you'll see them in the show notes as well. And you've really hit on something that is not just um, local, it's global. And it is, I'm going to use the P word, it's a pandemic. At the moment, we're going through the great resignation. So mm -hmm. after COVID, thanks for that awakening, is that mm -hmm humans on this planet are realizing well there's more to nine to five there's more to what i'm doing i've got a life purpose i'm here for a reason i want to reach into that I've, I've got a side hustle how do i transition like there's all of these shifts that are happening globally and right now we're right in the middle we've just gone yeah. through the lines gate and we're right in the middle of another shift yeah. is that uh, we are transitioning the whole globe is transitioning to a new yeah. level of awakeness and uh, and for this to happen you need to get unstuck <laughs> We well, can. I think, you know, yeah, I mean, my vision is is women transformed and women awakening to that higher self. And I think, you know, I only work with women, but I'm sure it's the same for men. You get to that about sort of 45 to 65, somewhere in that space. And a lot of my clients are in that space. I do have younger ones and older ones, but they can't, these people come and they're like, I'm so fed up with where I am. Something in them is calling, something in them knows their real self, their higher self is going We've learned all the lessons. Now we need to take this to the next level. So we learn the lessons. Let's offload all that emotional baggage. Let's get free. And we can start to follow where we're really being called to go, really for our purpose. And it sounds, sometimes sounds a little bit kind of, oh, yeah, I've got to get on with everyday life. But if you can do that from a place where you've offloaded your stuff, everything around you starts to change. We don't even have to work on it because you've changed your vibration and you start to attract a different energy around you. And so it's one of those kind of a bit airy fairy things. I've got an academic background, so I'm a bit, you know, 
anti woo woo and and fairy fairy, but um, it works, and I've been called into it. So you know, I kind of balance the logic and the emotion. It's so true. Everything, every word that you've said there, Lorena, is so true. Is that we, if there is a niggling inside of you and you're feeling that stuckness and you want more and you want to move and transition, then yeah, you've got to take time to do the inner work. It's not just that's it and it's done because you will find ways to sabotage yourself moving forward uh, for a DV and FE. We'll find a way to put ourselves back in the exact same frequency with the same person. They just look differently it, it, until yes. we can move through and out the other side of that. I yeah. Living proof, I'd been out of the situation for a long time and then 2019 smack bang sap into the same situation and mm -hmm. I, and I was awake and had my eyes open and yet I still went through it why because we have these patterns that we need we need assistance to break them mold them yeah. change them move yeah. into a different direction and we need yeah. proximity of people that are helping us to make a difference so mm -hmm. yeah I, I'm very excited about what you've got to offer a free chat which is always good to see if you're a good fit and then also yeah. offering that 90 minutes for, for only the investment of 60 and those three bigger programs that you're offering as well want to. yeah that's right yeah. so they've got you know the change in my life direction and then also a lot of women and well, a lot of men too feel like they're not good enough and again like you say it's that early life programming and with tapping we have ways and techniques to go and undo that programming and then you're free and sometimes people are like, oh, but that would feel vulnerable and unfamiliar. Okay, then we tap about those fears as well. We do it really gently. We only ever work at the pace that you feel comfortable. Some people are like, I don't want to go to all that past stuff. I've done that before. When you do it with tapping and its body as well, it actually shifts quite a lot more than, than other times. So I've seen it happen and I know what's possible. It's just about people coming to the states, coming to the stage where they're ready for them. Mm, I love it. I love it. And I honor that. That's brilliant. Now in closing, because we've been chatting, gosh, we could just chat all day. I'm <laughs> saying. Is uh, any words of wisdom to, to our listeners today? Yeah, look, I would say wherever you're at right now, if you're feeling unsafe or stressed or anxious, just remember there's nothing wrong with you. You're not unlovable. You're not wrong. You're not broken. It's your nervous system saying something's not right here so it's actually information from your body and with the tapping we can calm the body down as we do that you'll start to see a solution yourself the solutions are there you know what you need and when you get rid of the stresses and the fears those things start to float up so um you know you don't have to be stuck with this and you're very much into mind body transformation aren't you Charlene so, absolutely absolutely yeah. I love it and uh, I love working with you so if you're listening today make sure you at least jump on a 20 minute uh, curiosity call and uh, see if you're a good fit and take her up on that amazing offer 90 minutes for 60 minutes it's the it's the best investment you'll make in yourself to help you move forward and get unstuck yeah. thank you for listening today and thank you so much for your quality time All bye right, for thank now. you thanks Charlene <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this episode of Healing Through Love. You can get further resources, see the show notes, or simply reach out to us via our website at htlaustralia.org. Thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to your company next time on the Healing Through Love podcast.